But you know what? We are going to start with that breaking news that is just reaching us here on Sky Sports News. And Arsenal fans, listen in, uh, because we've just heard from the Spotify chairman and chief executive. That is Daniel Ek. You'll all be very aware of who he is. Uh, he's been speaking to our colleagues at CNBC in the United States. That's on the business channel over there. And he's just said that he is serious about buying Arsenal from the Cronkers, and he's already secured the funds needed to complete that deal. This is the very first listen on British TV. Here it is. I've been an Arsenal fan since I was eight years old. Arsenal is my team. I love the history. I love the players. Uh, and of course, I love the fans. So as I look at that, I just see a tremendous opportunity to set a real vision for the club to bring it back to its glory. And I want to establish trust with fans and I want to engage the fans again. So. To answer your question, I'm very serious. Um, you know, uh, I have secured the funds for it, and I want to uh, bring a what I think is a very compelling offer to the owners, and I hope they hear me out. Uh, Daniel, they don't seem to be interested in selling, though. And unlike a public company where there's other things you can do to conceivably pressure them, here I suppose it's only the fan base, but, you know, they've made it clear we're not sellers. Yeah, but you know, as I started out saying, I've been a fan for 30 years uh, of this club, and I uh, certainly didn't expect that this would happen overnight, uh, and I'm prepared that this could be a long journey. But you know, all I can do is prepare what I think is a very thoughtful offer and bring it to them and hope they hear me out. Well, one of the things that uh, they're saying is that they're not interested. That, to me, sounds like an opening offer. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of cash. You are the fan owner. Everyone wants to see an owner who identifies with the fans. I don't want to slam the, uh, the Cronkies too much, but they own a lot of teams, and it seems like this is just some asset for them. And nothing real particular. <laughs> Doesn't that gall you? Doesn't that make you feel angry? Well, you know, I, I just focus on the club, I focus on the fans, and I foc focus on trying to bring the club back to glory. And as you said, I'm first and foremost a fan. That's the most important uh, thing for me, and I want the club to do better. That's my primary interest. There you go, then. Let's uh, bring in Carvo Solical, who's back with us. He promised to come back this hour once he'd spoken to CNBC, our colleagues over in the United States. Um, and we were wondering whether he was going to speak about Arsenal. Well, he certainly has. He says he's put together the finances for the deal and so on, but, you know, the guy was quite right there to say that to him. As far as we're aware, the club's not for sale, is it? I mean, what are your thoughts on all of this? Look, the sceptics were saying this was a publicity stunt. Uh, the cynics were saying there's no way this is going to happen. Well, we have heard from the main man himself now. We've heard from Daniel Ek, and he's made it clear that he's very serious about trying to buy Arsenal. He has secured the funds. We know that Arsenal are valued at at least £2 billion, so it would suggest that he's managed to get that kind of finance together to try and push ahead with this proposed deal. And he describes it as a very compelling, thoughtful offer. And he is saying to the Cronkers, please listen to me. I'm going to make this offer in the next few days. It's going to be put in front of you. Then it's up to you to make up your mind. Now, he already knows that the Cronkies have said Arsenal is not for sale. Wow, that's not a surprise. Of course, no one's going to come out and say their Premier League club, which is worth billions of pounds, is for sale. But in business, as our colleagues at CNBC pointed out, everything has a price. Everything has a price. So if he can tempt the Cronkies to sell, then he is ready to move in and buy Arsenal. Now, long term, what I think is interesting is that he himself said that he is prepared for a long journey. He's expecting his offer to be rebuffed. He's expecting the Cronkies to say to him, the club is not for sale. But now, he's always going to be in the background. We know he's a real fan. He's been a fan for 30 years. We know now he's close to Thierry Henry, he's close to Dennis Bergkamp, he's close to Patrick Vieira, he's got the legends on board. And these fans who are unhappy with the Cronkiers now have somebody they can rally behind. So in the future, if things don't improve on and off the pitch at Arsenal, 
he will always be in the background. The fans will always think, we've got this guy. Look what he's done with Spotify. He started off with nothing. He's a billionaire now. The company is growing and growing and growing. Spotify's shares have doubled in the past 12 months. He's got a vision for Arsenal. Yes, the Cronkies are also very, very rich, but in a way, they represent old money. They've made their money from real estate, property, sports clubs, whereas this guy is, you know, a tech titan. He's the future of business. And he says he's got a vision for Arsenal. And what's more, he is an Arsenal supporter as well. So look, I know a lot of people at Arsenal would want this to go away. They want to sweep it under the carpet. They want to draw a line under it and say Arsenal is not for sale. But now they do have a problem because Daniel Ek is saying, I'm yeah. not going away. I've got the money. I want to buy Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal supporter and I've got a vision for the future of the club. And that vision involves legends of the club and making Arsenal great again. And that all just ramps the pressure up on the Cronkers, doesn't it? You know, from the fans and so on. We've seen the protests outside the Emirates. We've seen that the Arsenal fans aren't happy. But we also know that, you know, that the, the, the statement was very clear. I mean, do you expect that the, the Cronkers, the types of people that are going to be affected by fan pressure, do you think? I don't think the Cronkers have ever sold uh, any of their uh, clubs before. Uh, I think Stan Kroenke himself is almost twice as rich as Daniel Ek. So nobody is going to bully Stan Kroenke into selling Arsenal. It is his club. If he doesn't want to sell it, he's not going to sell it. But I make the point again, if things don't improve, then this proposed deal is always going to be in the background and it's supported and backed by some of the biggest legends to have ever played for Arsenal. To be fair to the Kroenke family, and we should always put the other side of the story as well, uh, although sometimes we get some abuse from Arsenal fans for doing so, but the club belongs to the Kroenkes. They've put a lot of money into the club uh, through bad times. Uh, they've put their money in. They've supported the manager. Uh, they've invested money in the transfer market as well. I know they've taken some really difficult, controversial decisions uh, during the pandemic, uh, making people redundant. That has not gone down well at all with the club's fans and people inside the club as well. I think they would admit that they have made some big mistakes when it comes to running such a great club. One of the biggest mistakes was to agree to join the European Super League. But if I can just be the devil's advocate, I would point out that they have tried to uh, speak to the fans with Josh Kroenke attending that fans forum. Uh, yesterday, Josh Kroenke also spoke to everybody who works at Arsenal. Uh, they've made statements saying that we're sorry, we're going to learn from this. We want to engage with the fans to take this club forward. So there is another side to the story as well. I think what is really key is what Arsenal fans think because our information is that if Daniel Ek was to buy the club he would be open to having fan representation on the Arsenal board he would be open to the fans having a say to the fans having a golden share mm. the Cronkies have talked about engaging with the fans listening to them it'll be interesting to see going forward quite what involvement the fans do have in the running of Arsenal if the Cronkies don't sell and let's be clear, they've said they're not selling and they're 100% committed to the club. Yeah, it sounds like this one could run and run, doesn't it, Carve? Look, thanks for bringing us right up to date. Appreciate it.